Hello, how are you? It's Chin. And we're going to go right into the purposeful Pilates. So last lesson we learned level two. I'm going to go over the level two again with a little more detail. So we're kind of cleaned up a little bit. So because the purposeful Pilates is part of our injury free exercise program that I develop and put together and my practice called Heights Wellness. And also it's in my book called One Body, One Body, One Body, One Life Within Your Control. And uh, the book is not out yet, so don't worry, you can't find it yet, so pretty soon. And uh, so let me just explain something very quickly, okay? So your legs, okay, which we use all the time, walking, running, special those stationary bike, everybody love to use. And, uh, and, but the whole thing is that we have so many muscles, that's why we have so many exercise to deal with the rest of the body. And I also want you to really understand when you exercise, there are two kinds. I mean, there are more than two kinds. The intention is two kinds. You can work so hard, you feel spent, right? <laughs> right, you can't, you're tired, okay. So another one, if you exercise, you actually charge up your energy. So you have more energy for the rest of the day. And, um, and also you can store better for, right, as we grow older, we, can, we can't afford to spend. We have to learn how to nourish and charge up. So we're gonna do the right exercise with the right mind before you educate yourself in the right way. So here we go. This is your leg and mine, okay. So from the second toe, lined up with the tibia, which is shin bone, and your femur is two line never meet, which is the same width as your hip, okay? So it's like the train track, you guys know parallel line. Now that leg, this is called a parallel, is natural, neutral position. And if I just relax, it's called lightly rotate. I can also squeeze my glute. If I do those, if I can see better. If I squeeze my glutes, okay, which is deep, those deep six muscle, in dance world, we call it turn-on muscle. This six muscle, the largest one, is called a piriformis. The, when you squeeze, you laterally rotate. We're gonna use that a lot when you come to extend from the thoracic spine through the lumbar to the glutes, okay? So we never want to overly extend your lumbar because it already happened throughout the day, right here, forward head and deep curve here, right? And kyphosis out. So we want to bring that curve, the fourth line, nice gentle wave of the spine, keep it nice and gentle, not overly exaggerated, okay? So here we go. So a little more detail today for the level two purposeful Pilates. You also know I combine the East, uh, the philosophy from the yin yang, from the East, and then I right, integrate with the West, which is physiology, right, anatomy, kinesiology, come together. So the, uh, the phys, um, philosophy is they from the yin yang, right? There's two parts. There's up, there's a down, there's a right, there's a left, right? If you wanna go up, you have to push down. You have a stabilization and mobilization. So most people look at the movement, they don't see what stabilizes you, which is your core muscle, okay? so. Special one, I gave a special name called the first responder, which is transverse abdominal. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to research all my videos, right? There's a purposeful movement, night focus. Okay, on that night focus, to tell you all that. I also upload before this, it's called an injury-free exercise fundamental. There's six of them. So now I don't have to explain it too much. We're gonna go right into the work now. Okay, so if you're interested, do research because you have to do that. I did mine already. I'm still researching. So especially if you have questions, and leave on the comment and uh, and in the following uh, video, I will address those questions. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna add uh, a couple more, uh, one more warm up, which is called a set up one-on-one, it was the fundamental one, okay? Injury-free fundamental 
one. So inhale, exhale again, sit up on a one, and my toes down, my heel is as far as my toes can stand. So I have to root it and back straight. Just do this is hard, right? Because we're not flexible, we're really tight. So inhale, but keep on doing. So it, 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 repetition makes everything better. So inhale, repetition with knowledge makes everything better. If you keep repeating, do the wrong thing, injury comes. Okay, so I'm going to be careful what I'm saying. So ready, inhale. Gentle, inner thigh, pelvic floor, first responder, recruiting the lower arrow. I'm slowly, I slide my hands down. Okay, now I'm getting up. So it's sit up 101. I'm going to use my leg to help me. That's a warm up. Okay, so don't just jump in to carry yourself. Nod your head. Can try the upper arrow, so one, two, three. That's direct as a dummy, six pi. I reach my toes down. I keep coming to a point. I don't need my hand anymore. I open my arms so there's no obstacles here. And nice and tall, inhale. Exhale again, hollow your tummy, inner thigh, pelvic floor, first responder. Remember I call them the three musketeers. They work so well together, inhale. All the leg come up, nod your head. Use the upper arrow, hollow your tummy slowly. Reach your toe down, okay? And nice and tall, nice and tall, come back. One more time going down, hollow your tummy. So we're only gonna do one set here because we have so many exercises. But you, if you like this one, practice every day. Okay, do four sets and that's it. <clears throat> Not 100. <clears throat> More is never better. Do it right is better, okay? So ready? So we have here, we're going to the single leg, happy baby. Exhale, knee going down, one. Hollow tummy, and warm up that hip socket. The largest joint in the body. And warm up the inner thigh. Your ankles right above the knee, perpendicular to the floor. And tell the hip flexor, relax, don't fire up. So we're gonna do a lot of flexion. Inhale, exhale, one. With the right muscle. With the muscle on the spine, not on the, in the hip socket, two. Exhale, three. Hollow your tummy, four. You see, perpendicular, and comes down. Cross your right leg over the left. They stack together, so both knees center line. Open the right arm, left hand, inhale. I'm gonna rotate my pelvis, stabilize the waist up, and I look over. So I get this beautiful spiral, inhale and wake up the IT band, it's so tight because from walking or not moving, right, not moving is no good too much, repetitive movement is not good, you're gonna feel this line all the way to your waistline, and of course upper body, here is the external be stretch. Holly, tummy, exhale. So use that normal downward breathing. Breathing so important too. And check the fundamental again. Release the left arm, contract your down the roll right back. In order to use your core muscle properly, special first responder, you have to understand how to breathe, okay? So inhale, prepare. Exhale, hollow your tummy. So never breathe in your stomach. And cause that's for food, right? You wanna breathe into the lungs. Inhale, exhale. Cause you want that blood from the heart. Bring the oxygen to every single cell in your body, especially your brain cell, okay? Exhale, hollow your tummy, roar right back. So I'm used the core muscle, bring my leg back. So you ready? Here comes the first exercise. We're gonna wake up the lower arrow and the upper arrow second. So inhale. This is called home base, okay? So you take two giant steps. You can feel your heel in line with the sit bone. Not that far, not this close, just perfect. Okay, neutral spine, so you get cervical lumbar curve. Inhale, hollow your tummy. So I'm gonna feel it, three muscles here. Recruit the lower arrow, lower your lumbar down, right leg tape, uh, it's called an attitude. Attitude position, this is a dance position. We'll call it attitude, that's tabletop. I like this one better, so I change to table to this, okay? Because I can feel the way it comes in, help me to really lower the lumbar down. Okay, inhale, toe tapping. Don't move your pelvis. So this is the way. The most important thing is like, 
don't lift extra weight. The way you need to deal with is your own body. So I say, you can lift the upper body, lower body, last word, exhale. So I'm using my tummy, now put toes, bow, heel down and down. So that's the lower arrow. Okay, so inhale, nod your head. When you get to the upper arrow, depress your scapula. I can feel I'm recruiting that arrow, external obliques, and the one, two, three of the rectus abdominis, which is six pack. Ready, depress your scapula. I'm going to use that arrow, those right muscle, to lift the weight of your head and shoulder off the floor. Inhale, stay. Exhale, release down. Again, inhale, gentle, nodding your head to get rid of the forehead. Depress your scapula, come up. So if you feel like your neck's very weak, you can help yourself hold a little bit, elbows up, release down. Don't drop your elbow because I popped the rib cage right away. Inhale again, prepare. Exhale, depress your scapula, hold your tummy, flex up. We're gonna kick up a notch. So exhale a little more, upper arrow, neutral pelvis, two, because your legs on the floor. And three, inhale, slowly comes down. Again, inhale and prepare my head first so I don't go up this way. That's, that's really bad. You can breathe. So nod your head. Exhale and strengthen the backside of the neck. Push your head up. Also the front. Release a little bit. Hollow your tummy. One. Small movement. Two. And three. Small but correct. Okay. Big movement and wrong injury comes in. And return comes down. Straight the right arm, right leg. We're gonna roll over onto the mat. So don't roll off the floor. Coming. Okay, this is called a prompt position. Well, we just did supine. So let's face out. Now we face down. So remember there's three positions when you come to the floor exercise. So the floor help you find neutrals. Beautiful posture first. Your hands out, shoulders down. Inhale, straight both knee. Exhale, I'm going to depress the scalp. I'm going to wake up the upper V, which is latissimus, uh, lower trap, okay? The lower trap, a little bit of latissimus dorsi in the armpit. And you use the erector spinny group to extend the thoracic spine. The most important is pull the navel to your spine. I'm looking, looking right here. I'm not looking there. Now I block the flow. I want the energy out from the top of your head. Inhale, you hold here. Exhale, return. Okay, inhale, straight bow, leg. Exhale, depress your scapula, hollow your tummy, going to the extension. Inhale, and exhale. Like I said, I'm gonna go a little more clear with the detail, and circle your arm around. We're just gonna do it twice. Second movement, roll the scapula neutral. Exhale, hover. So you feel like an arrow. Don't drop the scapula neutral. Inhale, stay. Exhale, release down. Second time. Knee straight, roll the scapula neutral, palms facing you, reaching out, hollow your tummy. Inhale, so get rid of that kaifati back, okay? Get rid of that round back, straight. Circle your arm around, bend your elbow, put your head on top, so you stack your hands. You ready? Inhale, straight your knee again, so send the energy out to your toes. Exhale, hollow your tummy, hover. Stay here, you still hover like an arrow. And release down. Again, if you get cramped, it's okay. Just tuck your toes, stretch out. And inhale, straight your leg. You're gonna, <laughs> when you do everything correctly, there's so many muscles. So some of the muscles is gonna be really weak and give cramps. So inhale, straight. Exhale, last one. Hold your tummy coming up. Inhale. Hold it. And release down. Okay. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna strengthen the gluteal maximum and the deep six. Okay, so ready? Straight your leg in parallel position. Squeeze the gluteal maximum, leg come up, don't bend your knee, reaching off. The left knee's off the floor and return. Exhale, right knee's off the floor, scapula is down, hollow your tummy, reaching up and return. Exhale, don't go into the joint, we're talking to the muscles. Exhale, the muscle moves the right structure and the Range of motions from the joint, so it gives you the possibility to move, but you have to move with the muscle. Laterally rotate. So you can see my heel toward each other now. Straight your knee, inhale, exhale. I'm going to add a deep six. And return. 
Exhale again. Your job, keep the pubic bone down, hollow your tummy, reach your leg up, and me turn. Do not go into your lower back. And go. Especially you already have back issues, right? Don't go in there. Wake up the other muscle. Last one. Because the lateral rotation gives you more range of motion, so you can feel your leg can go up a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, so it's a nice feedback. Oh, yeah. Okay, return. Push yourself back, shell stretch. Inhale, exhale. So open the lower back. Stretch out the tush. You just worked. Contract your abdominal. Rolling up. So remember, if you have a knee problem, you can go right here and come straight up. There's always a modification. So you can say, I can't do it. You have to figure out how to do it, right? So here we go. First, most famous exercise, call it the hundreds. It's popular through this leg exercise for some, for the beginners, right? So right here, I'm going to slide up. I created that rocker, rocking chairs, foot, okay, rocker's foot. So I'm going to slowly roll ASIS away to a point, my leg up to the attitude position. Inhale to four counts. Exhale, dorsiflex, reaching out, so help you don't get cramp on the feet. Inhale to exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, one, twenty. Inhale to exhale, hollow, tummy, don't use your neck. And it's, it's supporting. Inhale to use the tummy up and lower arrow. 40. Inhale to. So you bring the upper and lower arrow up together. 50. Inhale to. Exhale. 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. Inhale to. Exhale. Go. 3, 4, 5. 70. Inhale to. Exhale. Go. 3, 4, 5. 80. Inhale to. Exhale, go. 90, inhale, two. Exhale, go. And 100. You notice my legs perpendicular because lower is harder. Lower is harder. So if you just start, I like this so much better. And calm down. Again, I'm going to say this over and over. We're not trying to impress people. We try to impress ourselves how much we understand our body. That's more important than for somebody to look at you and say, whoa, right? That's not important. Do I know my body? Okay, so shoulders down. Nice and tall. Half roll back. Shoulders down. Inhale. Hollow your tummy. So inner side, pelvic floor, three muscles here with the lower arrow. They're all working. You want to open the lower back. Don't go back like this, okay? That's kyphotic. So we grow old like this. So you don't want to accentuate that look, right? Doesn't look so good. Okay, so ready? Inhale. Exhale again. Hollow your tummy. Roll back. Okay, stay here. We're going to rotate head to the northeast corner. Center. This is my north. So exhale. Hollow your tummy. Rotate. So I know I'm not using my neck. Your, your neck muscle holding up. You're using the core. Hollow your tummy. Forward on the inhale. Nice and tall. Inhale, prepare again. Hollow your tummy, roll back. Do again, left side first. Left and the right. Center, hollow your tummy going forward and return, come back. I have to stop a little bit. I did not, I did not teach you breathing because I did already. <laughs> you have to use it. So if you don't know how to use normal downward breathing and reverse the downward breathing, you're going to go back to the fundamental. So you always breathe into the lung. You never breathe into stomach, especially the stomach. It's for food, right? I don't tell you to drink water with your nose. You know what will happen, right? They have a different purpose. So that's why I call it purposeful Pilates, purposeful exercise system, okay? What's the purpose, how your body design? So when you in the normal downward breathing, it's a natural breathing actually. Inhale, you always feel the lungs, not the tummy. On the exhale, you purse lip. <clears throat> Let me just review quicker. You purse lip, hollow your tummy, and you strengthen that core. So sometimes you use that exhale for exertion. Okay, so you have to really, really feel it. 
So breathing wakes up the core muscles, especially the first responder, which is called a transverse abdominal. Now reverse abdominal breathing happens to the, the situation when you surprise, you go, oh, right? When you go, oh, can you feel your tummy's lifted? But you're still breathing the stomach. Uh, I mean, I'm just breathing into the lung, don't breathe the stomach. So because we surprise, right? Our body is breathing because naturally you know how. So we think we are holding the breath. We're really not holding the breath because we'll do exhale right after, right? So, so we use that. We use that moment because it's very important. That's when your mind had to charge up really quickly to react, either a good surprise or bad surprise, right? Either way, you have to react properly. So now on the inhale, your pelvic floor tummy in, but your body knows you have to breathe in the lungs. Right? On the exhale, you lengthen, you release the pelvic floor, the diaphragm goes, so diaphragm goes up, pelvic floor, so that two piston. The, so you get longer. So even in the Pilates, they were using both normal downward breathing and reverse downward breathing. If you watch my Thursday, which talk about Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan, in, um, you know, meaningful movement and insightful movement you will see me use reversal down the breathing more because it's so much better to move your spine with it. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna go right into this exercise, going back, okay? So shoulder down, inhale, prepare. Exhale, hollow your tummy. So that's normal down the breathing. Okay, we're gonna challenge you now. And reach right arm up. This is the third position, come back. So we establish the arm position two, third. Second arm position and arm reaching forward on the inhale, tummy in the reverse down the breathing shoulder back. So this first position of the arm, inhale, exhale, hollow your tongue, keep your arm in this first position. So establish you here, your neck is free. Okay, that because we did the rotation to show you. Lift the left arm, third position. Lift the right arm, third position. Open your arm, second position. Hollow your tummy forward, forward, and sit very tall. We do that one more time. Inhale, exhale, hollow your tummy, roll back. Right arms up to third position, to the third position, to the second position. Hollow your tummy, reaching forward, shoulders down, nice and tall. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, I have to do both sides, sorry. And go, inhale, arm up. Exhale, hollow your tongue. So no more downward breathing, inhales here. Exhale, exert. Inhale, open, right? Still hollow tummy. Exhale, forward, forward, forward. Nice and tall, arrive. Okay, so you ready? Inhale, prepare. Next movement is roll down. So we're gonna use all that. Keep your toes down, keep your toes down. If you say, I can't anymore, straight your leg. Okay, now reach out the heel, reach out the heel. So you're going to articulate each vertebrae, lie down softly and carefully. Okay, inhale, notch every arm to the first position. That's the, in line with the sternum, the inner sternum. Okay, now ready? Notch your head, flex up, upper arrow. You ready? One, two. The third portion is right above the navel, that's when you need the help most. So you're gonna reach out the heel, Tummy going back and going forward, 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 C curve. Inhale, start going back. Exhale again, five, four. Keep reaching out the heel, hollow your tummy. Keep reaching and slowly come down. Inhale again, gentle notch, every chum up. Exhale again, going up, reaching, hollow your tummy. Keep going. There's a the front, there's a the back. There's the front, there's the back. So don't go into the hunch, okay? You, you have to look good. We call the poster child, right? It's a poster child. So you have to look good. Because <laughs> looking good is what is correct form, okay? So it's not being vain. Inhale, nod your head last time. Exhale again. You can try one, two. One, two, and a three. Finger and heel. Okay, help you up forward. Inhale, you start going back. Exhale, depress your scalp, reaching finger and heel. So you're gonna slowly, slowly articulate 
open your arm to the side. Okay, plantar flexion, you see I just point my toes, develop the right leg up again, <clears throat> your legs moving, the rest body is not. So you're gonna focus on the stabilization. So remember I say, you, your muscle needs to be stressed, right? Stress during life is make us stronger. So the leg is stressor for the stabilization. You're focused on the stabilization, not how big the movement is. You go crazy. Then what happened? Result, go crazy, results injury. That's his best bet. <laughs> End. Okay, so ready? Inhale. Holly, tell me why. So AD dog to the center line only. Away a little bit. <clears throat> sorry, away a little bit without popping the ribcage or lower back up. AB dog away from the midline, flex towards you. So you see how important to have a flexible hamstring. If you can straight this leg, you can bend slightly. So you think about circle with the knee and the toes, but still small, okay? So don't move the body. So keep as small as you can. Because the, the, the challenge is not the circle, it's the stabilization. Now reverse, inhale, exhale, one, six times. Holly tummy, two, and the three, and the four, and the five. Last one, six, bend your knees, slide out, develop pace straight up again, cross this first, inhale, exhale, one. Holly tummy, two, and the three, and the four, and the five, and the six. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four. Stabilize, don't move, five, and the six. Bend your knee, remember? We're going to sit up one on one, so we're going to roll up really properly. Reach toe to the floor. Help yourself, no shoulder. And coming in, dorsal flexion. Okay, nice and tall. Open your arm, second position. So what I'm doing today is I, I clean it up for the level two. So I'm only gonna do half a level two all the way to breaststroke. And next week, I'm gonna do the second part, clear up, okay? Because there's a lot of detail need to talk about. I just don't want you to go I can't see you. So I feel responsible <laughs> if I just go crazy and go fast, fast, fast. You're not getting, you're not learning. I love to teach and I love to learn. If I'm teaching, I learn from watching, but I don't watch it. If I'm watching my client, they told me so much what needs to be said for them to understand. So right now, I, I keep them in my mind. So just imagine where you are too. Okay, shoulders down. There are two parts, right? Stabilization. From the waist down, stabilize. Do not move the leg. Waist up, mobile, because it's gonna rotate. It's from the external obliques, okay? And the internal obliques uh, on the trunk. So nice and tall, inhale. I'm gonna rotate towards you, one. You can see I'm not rotating my head. I'm not rotating my arm. Those are all wishful thinking. So now correctly, one more time. Can try the left side one. So I find the center two. I feel this contracts three and center. Inhale. Exhale. Right side externally rotate you to the left side one. Shoulder down from the corner of your eye. You, you wiggle the finger. You say, oh, they're there. They're still my arm. They're not somebody else's arm. Inhale. Exhale one. Right? Exhale two. Remember, I say you gotta learn about yourself first. Inhale. Exhale. What do I have? What do I own? Do I really own them? Three and back to center, release your arm, okay? This is toward the end of COVID-19, everybody's getting the vaccine. But to me, the vaccine is your immune system. It's the knowledge. So what we're learning from the COVID-19 is how important health is, how important to boost your immune system. How do you boost your immune system? With three things. It's again from the yin yang philosophy, you're gonna learn how to breathe correctly. Don't breathe into your stomach, okay? And then your mind goes crazy because you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain cell. So you have to know how to breathe correctly. Nutrition, what to eat. I cannot give you a blueprint. I cannot give you one size fits all 
because we have different blood type, we're different age, right? A lot of differences. I'm Chinese. My the way I grew up, my my the way we eating are different than American, different than Italian. So there's a there's there's a little bit um, upbringing involved too, right? So all that stuff. So so nutrition very important. How do you you have to figure it out yourself? Very simple. Eat something your body don't like it. You blow up. Don't do anymore. You drink the soda, you blow up, you don't feel well, and you constant craving for sugar. That's not good. Any craving is not hunger. Okay. There's a lot of books out there. So from now on, the end, I'm always gonna recommend a book for you to read, so you can get a lot of information. There's tons of them out there, but I select some for you. So I'm not affiliated with anybody. I just thinking they're so great. I'm going to because that's how I learn. Okay. So I'm just sharing. Okay, so breathing, nutrition. What's the third one? I say three, right? Exercise or movement. Movement are so important, right? If you don't move, then what happens? You're not charging up the energy. I'm teaching you how to move to charge our energy. You know, moving right by the friction of the muscle and the fascia and the fat. So your body become what a rechargeable battery. You can you can also spend the battery, right? So which one you want? Especially if you turn fifty, you start a little worry about going forward, going down, right? They say over the hill after forty, that's terrible. <laughs> so don't believe them. You you going up, okay? Because you're smart now. You have about forty years of experience in life. So bring that with you up, not going down. Never. So ready? One last time. Inhale, twist one, spiral up two, spiral up three. Stay here. Exhale again. Power stay one. Don't move the leg. And hollow tummy two. I constant talk to that first responder. That's why I give that name. It's always first. So ready? We're gonna get to the rolling like a ball. So you have the C curve. That's the rocking chairs. Rocker's foot. Okay, here we go. You can touch here, but don't emphasize there. Okay, hollow here. So tummy. You can do here, here, or here. This is easier right now. Okay, so roll ASIS away and return. So you want to know, okay, this distance, my heel to my sits bone and my knee to my shoulder stay the same. It doesn't go because if you do that. You hurt your lower back, okay? I don't want you hurt. So, if it's really hard, we do modification. I'm gonna give you the modification right now. Then I keep doing the regular way, okay? So, get to know yourself. Modification. Contract the five and four lower arrow and come forward a little bit. So you do a little bit sit up. Contract the five and four lower arrow and. Lower arrow deepening coming forward and contract. Can you see how small that movement is? But that's the first movement for you going down. It's not fall down, okay? Because you you're gonna flip off the rock rocking chair. Okay, here we go. Shoulder down. I'm gonna do the forwards now. So ready? Roll ASIS away. Don't let your head touch. One. Your head's not touching. I'm going to the scapula and that's it. Inhale. Exhale three, and the inhale. Exhale four. I put my hands here to show you. I'm not using my arm. Five, and the inhale. Exhale six, and the inhale. Exhale seven. Inhale. Exhale eight. Stay here. Single leg stretch. I'm gonna reach slowly lower down. Reaching right hand to the right ankle. Left hand stop. So you see the differences right here. Go. Extend the hip. That's the single leg stretch, and go. This knee is perpendicular, and go. Inhale to inhale, inhale. Bring your chin in. Exhale, exhale, and the inhale flex up. Inhale. So my right arm reaching to the ankle, help me up. This arm stop the knee to your chest. You know people does this. It's like it's like jerking around. That doesn't call exercise. Okay, so do not do that. Holly, tell me to go go again. So the inhale, inhale, 
exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, you ready? Hold your head, shoulder to the knee, shoulder to the knee. Extend that hip, flex. You really want to extend, get, get away the sitting posture, right? Go, and go. So this is flexible here, create movement, create blood circulation, recover, come back, return. Rub your tummy a little bit, that's a lot of work. Turn your head right and left to release any tension build up, okay? So now, we're gonna do the slow double leg stretch. Hollow your tummy. Again, prepare attitude, attitude, laterally rotate. That happened in the hip socket. I'm gonna put my both hands each on the lateral side of your knee. Not your head flex up. Can you see how much we're using that upper arrow? Okay, now straight, both legs to parallel position together, so it's 80 dot, arm side. Dorsal flexion, circle around. Circle the arm, lightly rotate, lay up, 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 up. Open the knee side, release the body down slowly. Inhale again, nod your head. Exhale, flex up. Straight, both legs to the ceiling, perpendicular. Circle. I'm gonna reach in and up, 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 and release down one more time. Inhale, gentle notch head. Exhale, look through this hole here and straight your leg. And arm, inhale, circle, lightly rotate, point, point, up, 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 and open, comes down. Put your leg down one by one. And rotate your head, okay? If your hip flexor is really crazy right now, open your leg wider than your mat and drop both legs to the left side. Pick your head up, look, your knee, hip in line. So we stretch that tensor fascia lata and the hip flexor from the quadricep. Put the left leg on, get a little more stretch, but don't go into lower back, don't arch. Okay, see I just lost everything. I wanna stabilize my torso. I'm right, isolated stretch right here. And we turn both legs to the right side. Engage your abdominal, that's your first responder. Inhale, exhale, so I'm gonna use the weight of my right leg, help accentuate that I stretch a little more. Not going to lower back. So the first responder has a job, says I'm here. <sighs> I help you not to get injured. Okay, so ready? Ah, here we go. <laughs> we stretch out a little bit because we have another one coming, a lot of flexion. Hollow your tummy, attitude, attitude. So it's the regular double stretch. I'm gonna reaching up again, whoosh, right? Bend your elbow, one. Hollow tummy, two. And the three. Go like, lift the top head up. Arm leg straight, don't go lower because you see, I can't talk. No, no, wait. Rip, pop the rib cage, lumbar's going up. No good. More is never better. It's the quality, not the quantity. You ready? Scissor, exhale, exhale. This is like, Extend, squish your glutes, extend. So I'm gonna show you, reach and the reach, and the spiral, and the spiral. If you can't straight your legs, fine, bend, but looks nice, and nice bending, and nice bending. Get your feet strong too. You strengthen the bottom, you feel, okay? The inner shoes, you feel in the shoes all the time. And then do the last one here, and the here, up together, comes down. I always say the shoes is a jail for your feet. Poor feet, they're in this shoes and that shoes, right? And if you ski all day, the feet is just totally locked in that boot, right? You can't take it off because too much work. So it's okay, still enjoy the ski. When you take the boots off, take care of your feet because they'll be a little happier for you. So ready, inhale. Exhale, shoulder bridge, hollow your tummy, squeeze your glutes, hamstring number 11. So it's parallel position, inhale. Depress your scapulas, keep the number 11. Hollow your tummy, one, two, right, going down. And we turn one more time, inhale. Stop on the lower inner thigh, pelvic floor, first responder. Recruiting the lower arrow, five, four, and rectus abdominis, three, two, one, one straight line, inhale, exhale, right? This is straight from the knee to your shoulder. 
the precious carpet recruiting the upper arrow. So we want to clean it up, knowing exactly what you do. Okay, if you if you if you're not quite sure, watch the video again, again, again until you really feel it so you get the feedback. So now shoulder bridge like an elevator. We just did like an excavator, right? Section by section. Now like an elevator. Okay, so your spine straight. Inhale. Squeeze your glutes, hollow your tummy straight up. Don't open your knee, okay? Your IT band is going to be so tight. If you do a lot of running, spinning, right? Walking, inhale, sorry. Tickle eye. Exhale again. Squeeze your glutes, hollow your tummy. You ready? Lower down just a little bit. So nice straight. One. So you're going to send the elevator up by squeeze your glutes, hollow tummy. Two. Squeeze your glutes and hollow your tummy. Three. And uh, four, stay here. The pressure scalp is soft in the ribcage, roll down. So it's not in your lumbar, your lower back. Inhale, exhale, get muscle, muscle, develop the leg up. Toes, ankle, reaching out from the heel to your shoulder, one straight line. So squeeze your glutes straight ahead, ankles up, flex the hip, extend the hip, flex the hip, extend the hip, flex the hip, bend your knee, come down. Straight up again, so that's called develop. Exhale, extend the hip. You flex the hip. Extend the hip. What does this do? To stabilize. Remember, this is a stressor for this front here. And coming up, bend your knee. The pressure scalp is soft in the ribcage. Roll down sequentially. If you just keep focused on the movement, you don't get it. You have to understand, so when you look at the movement, you can see another meaning, more meaningful part, right? You see the technique. So here we go. How long your time? You ready? We're going to have two more movements left for today. And then next, we're going to explain to the rest the part two. Hollow your tummy. Right? Remember, we're going to do a modification first. You can also cross your ankle a little bit. You rock up and return. So you really want to open that lower back. How you open the lower back? Remember <laughs> Newton's third law, third law? With one action, get equal as opposite reaction. You contract here. Lower arrow, hello, first responder. Over, over. So if you contract, I'm stretching lower back. So if I contract the front, I'm opening. I raise my sacrum and lumbar off the floor. Sometimes so hard, right? But it's okay. You can grab hold the bottom of the couch to that help you a little bit. Okay, so ready? Now I'm going to the reel. So just doing that, if you can roll all the way over, you have to have a straight leg, okay? So if you say, no, my hamstring's too tight, you're going to look at the purposeful, um, I mean, injury-free fundamental number six. I teach you how to stretch a hamstring. And in my class, I do all of them spend 30 to 40 minutes before we do the Pilates stuff. So class is hour and a half. Okay, so you really get everything. And if you, sorry, if you do the workshops when the, um, when the world opens up, I will show you all of them. Come to the studio, love to meet you. So ready, here we go. Hinge, holly, your tummy reaching all the way. Up open, hips width. So you see how straight my leg is? my ankle, my toe. So I'm sending, I'm developing the energy. So as I exercise, I create energy. So I use the muscles, exhale. So I don't want to ruin the joint over and over and over and over. And because the cartilage is gone, it's not fun. Exhale again, hollow your tummy, reaching over. Extra stretch, open. Slowly roll down, all the way down. Okay, reverse, inhale, your AB docked, hips width, hinge your leg towards you. So I'm use that lower arrow to bring the leg in. Then my toes start taking over, travel up to the, so helping the upper arrow, going up together. You slowly roll down, leg nice and straight, flex the hip. Huge line, the whole fascia line goes all the way to your back. Open hinge, exhale. 
up together. Exhale. I want you to think of the muscles. Okay, if you're hypermobile, it's all joint just collapse down. Inhale, open. And exhale. So that's AB dog over. Together, AD dog slowly. Roll down. Flex the hip and return. Lower the leg down one by one. One last exercise because we did so much flexion. We got to finish with the extension. Okay, so here we go. Breaststroke. We did the breaststroke preparation. Now we put together. Looks like you're swimming. So ready, legs sandwich with your hip, ankle straight. Inhale, you hover. So bring the nose up about a half inch. Exhale, arm to the third position. You're parting the arm, parting the water, right? With the arm and coming up to extension. Exhale again, swing forward. Inhale, part to catch the breath, right? Bring your head off the water just a little bit. Exhale, inhale, feel, imagine. You press the water, pull the tummy up into the extension of the thoracic spine. Exhale, inhale again, go into the extension of the thoracic. Last one. Exhale, inhale, keep engaged your abdominal. Just feel the lungs. Let's reverse the abdominal breathing. Pull your tummy up, no inhale. And release down. Great. Push yourself back, shell stretch. So round your back. Open here more, okay? Instead of there. <sighs> like I say, if that's too hard for the knee, you can just stay here like a cat. So you pull your tummy up too. So you have a, still have a raucous foot. And then when you come up, you just contract your abdominal. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way up, nice and tall. Back to neutral. Okay. So that's all we have to do today. Because I'm breaking down, so I talk more. I'm sorry, you notice I love to talk. <laughs> it's not I love to talk, I love to teach. I love to figure out. I want to have the right thing, right way to exercise. No more copy. So you really get to know your body and you build strength. You, you have stressor, just the right enough stressor. Don't go kill yourself. We love to do that when we were young, but hopefully older and wiser, okay? And um, save ourselves. And also we we'll charge up our energy because then life goes longer and longer. Energy is so important. Make sure you have a good night's sleep, okay? In the old days, before the electricity starts, human follows, or us human, follow the circadian rhythm. That means what? The sunset, sunset, sunrise. So when the sun goes down, and most of us are farmers too, before the industrial, all this stuff. And the sun goes down, we go to sleep. And sunrise, we rise. So we rise early, we go to sleep early, and we rise early. So for the Chinese internal medicine, we say any hour before 12 midnight is twice as good as two hours of after the midnight. So just thinking about sun goes down even in the summer, right? Nine o'clock, maybe 10, okay? If you really good get habit, you go to sleep at nine o'clock, that's three hours before the 12. That's six hours good sleep. <laughs> so by four, 4.30, you're ready to wake up, right? But right now, the problem is too much blue light. Blue light is really good for daytime, but we, we, we develop so much, right? You know, people will bring what their laptop and cell phone in bed. That is so hard stimulating of the eyes or mitochondria get too excited, you can't sleep well. And then you stay up because so exciting outside the world instead of inside here. We don't care about this. That's why we wiped out so easily because we use the wrong stressor take us down. So that blue light, too much stimulation, you can't sleep. So your bedroom has to be so dark. If you have to use your cell phone to wake up as alarm, put on the airplane mode, right? Don't, so it doesn't stimulate you, okay? So a lot of invisible energy is zapping us downward. We don't, we, we can't really afford, I know when you're young, yes, you can, 
to a certain age, again, I'm going to say older and wiser and start take care of this one body, one life as, as well as you can. So go to sleep, 10 o'clock, 11 is the latest, 10 o'clock, not bad, 9 o'clock, really good, even 9.30. Okay, so, so now you have enough sleep, you will get up early to enjoy the blue light. At night, our ancestors looking at the fire, right? So summertime now, everybody love to have a fire pit now, right? So love to have a fire pit. It's really nice because it's red and orange and yellow light to relax you so you can sleep well. And uh, stop the blue light. Blue light, daytime is good. Nighttime, it's enough. We have television, computers, cell phone. Somehow, teach yourself, eliminate a little bit. Little by little, you can feel the result. Once you have a really good deep sleep, we we'll call it REM sleep, you wake up early. And once you have health, you have a passion about life. Passion is so important. There are people who need less sleep because they are passionate to wake up. They're passionate about their life. They have ideas they need to expand. They have, it's so excitement, right? So, so sometimes people like that need less sleep because, and they know if they, if they do sleep, they sleep tight. So movement is so important. Breathing, right nutrition, no sugar. You gotta stop eating three hours before you sleep, okay? So your body doesn't work so hard and you can't sleep comfortably. It's too exhausting. So many things, they're all the good stuff. Grab on, okay, learn more. Find the books, <sighs> older and wiser, to own this miracle body. Thank you so much, take good care.